this is the look created by Shraddha Maske and first we are starting with the fluffy brows using the soap brows and Anastasia Beverly Hills deep brow pomade in dark brow. Then she is scraping my skin with a moisturizer gently. Now we are using Estee Lauder eye cream before applying any concealer under the eyes. So she is gently tapping in with the ring finger. Now using Becca Backlight Filter and the Milani Mills Primer, we are giving some definition to the skin and gently tapping into the skin. Now we, we are using two concealers, one is by Tarte and one is by Narcissist and also the Revolution one to contour. So we are doing highlight and contour before foundation to make it look more natural and it also helps to avoid any mistakes that you do while contouring because we are layering this with the foundation as well so this is the Shraddha mask technique which I love so gently brushing out the harsh line it's okay if you, if you make any mistakes here making sure you buff out the highlight and contour together without leaving any lines after that, we are using our Fenty foundation over the contour and highlight line and blending it gently to minimize any harsh lines again. The technique will really need less product and enhance the natural look that we are trying to give and more defined jawlines and cheekbones and let's not forget the nose area any corners of your face Time to set the cream product so we are using Fenty Beauty in the shade banana and gently tapping in again using a very small precise blending brush so we are just going to set the t-zone area because my skin is really dry now setting the contour as well with two bronzers by Mika Forever and MAC it gives a very nice sun-kissed look also bringing back the blood to the skin, we are using Blush by MAC, just on the back of the cheekbone. Now using the Charlotte Tilbury Contour and Highlight Palette, since it's very light, we are using the highlight shade and highlighting the high points of the face. Also let's not forget to set the face. Moving on to the eyes, we are using Stays Line Nepal Palette, which is very pigmented and we are using pink and purple undertone for the eyes, creating a very light transition. So we are just creating a dimension on the inner and outer corner as well as with the brown eyeshadow we are elongating the eyes in the lash line and for the eyelids we are highlighting with a very light pink eyeshadow So to 
create some depth we are using Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliner which is an eye pencil in the waterline also following with the black eyeshadow and tapping it on creating a very soft spooky eyeliner look For more volume, we love using some lip gloss on the highest point of our lips and that's how she does it. Now enhancing my mole. So this is the final look guys done by Shraddha Maske.